Hey folks, so this week we're starting out with just some foundational concepts like race, um, the founding ideals of our country. This is a great reading. I think you're going to love it because it's going to blow a lot of false information about how this country's been founded. Just blow it out of the water. Check that out. It's called Our Democracy's Founding Ideals Were False when they were written. It's a part of the uh, 1619 project that I think it's still running in the New York Times. There's also a foundational piece called Race and Racism that just acquaints you with the concepts around uh, race, privilege, discrimination, gives you a good language to start with, and then a really good video on the racial politics of the time. So be sure to read that introduction. Um, there's also an extra credit discussion called Introduce Yourself. Uh, this is going to be pretty interesting. Um, I'm asking you to think about when was the first time you realized you were a particular race? Uh, let me tell you about my story. I was in kindergarten and um, a little girl, a little blonde head, bl blonde haired girl comes up to me. She was five. I was four. And she says, hey, you're a N-word. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, really? She said, yeah. You want to go play? I said, yeah. Now, of course, I'm sure you're probably thinking like me. Oh, my God. Right? But at that age, we had no idea. She had no idea what she was talking about. I had no idea what I was talking about. All she knew was what she'd heard. What she'd heard in her home. Now, interestingly enough, I'd never heard that in my home. We didn't use that kind of terminology. Um, I also had no conception that who I was as an African-American at that time, uh, which was the late 60s, we called ourselves Black. I heard my grandparents call us Negro. Um... I had no conception that that was negative. I had no concept that there was anything wrong with that. Now, interestingly, I lived in a suburb where my family and another family were the only African-Americans in that uh, big subdivision. Kindergarten through fourth grade, I was the only African-American in my school. So think about this. As a kindergartner, I'm in class. I'm the only African-American child in my school. But I don't know. I don't realize it. And the other children don't either. We're just kids. So that tells you something about race and racism. They're taught. They're a social construction. So that's just an idea about um and I'm just giving you my introduce myself story about when I realized I was black. And I have to say from that day, of course, my parents explained it after they, you know, got over their shock. And of course, they had to go to school and deal with that. And of course, uh, because it was uh, quite a, a negative experience. And of course, they had to explain it to me. And think about this. Had your, have your parents ever had to explain to you that you were your particular race? That's how you know if you have privilege. <laughs> so check out that reading. I don't want to tell you anymore because I don't want to give the readings away. But check it out. Have fun, y'all.